Gentlemen, my name is Tricia and I'm going to be conducting the ceremony today, so I'll be guiding our couple through the legal part of their ceremony prior to the second ceremony at 2 o'clock. Over here is Emma and she is our marriage registrar, so she has the very important role of witnessing the marriage and entering all the details into the register. I am required to tell you that this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of John Edward Peters and Nicole Marie Riley. If there is any person present who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then they should declare it now. <laughs> John and Nicole, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I am now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you may not be married to each other here today. And in time on the tradition, John, as our groom, you get to go first. So would you just repeat the following words after me? I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, John Edward Peters. Why I, John Edward Peters. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Nicole Marie. To Ryan. Nicole Marie Ryle. Alright, because it's the same for you. Just repeat after me. I declare, I declare, that I know, that I know, of no legal reason, of no legal reason, why I, Nicole Marie Riley, that I, Nicole Marie Riley, why I, why I, Nicole Marie, may Riley, Nicole Marie Riley, may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage, to John Edward Peake, to John Edward Peake. So John and Nicole have declared <coughs> that they are legally free to marry, so now the solemn moment has come for them to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses. <coughs> so the next set of words are your contract of marriage. You are going to say these words, not to me, but to each other. Okay. So you first again, John, if you could repeat after me. I, John. I, John. Take you, Nicole. Take you, Nicole. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Okay. I Nicole. I Nicole. Take you, John. Take you, John. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. So, John and Nicole, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family and friends here today. So it's my privilege and very great pleasure to be the first to congratulate you and to tell you that you are now legally married. You are husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> And the next part of the ceremony, um, the final part of the ceremony, will be the signing of the register book. Ella can only start writing it at this point in time, so we need to give her time to finish it. So what we're going to do while she's finishing writing that register is have a few photographs taken. And we'll put <coughs> a couple of chairs behind this table for you, and then once she's finished, she will be told for you to sign, but we can set up a dummy one for you. Lovely. Is that all right? Okay.
if you want to and if you want to put them on uh, social media they have people who do that too so can I just say before we start today that I know they're both very very grateful for everybody who's come together 
and help them to put this very special day together and particularly to Patricia who's outside there and all her team at Gift of a Wedding because uh, I know they pulled out all the stops to make this a really special day for you both. So then, um, I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of John and Nikki to share in this wonderful occasion. A day which will provide them, we hope, with many happy memories to treasure. A day which I know is going to be filled with love, with some laughter, and with maybe just a few tears as well. Today is a special day for you too, their friends and their family, because you are privileged to share in and witness the love that they have one for another and to offer your love to them and pledge your support for all that lies ahead. When most people are asked what the really important things in life are, they always come back to two things, love and human relationships. One of the most understated of all these relationships is that of a father and a loving daughter. Today is one of the rare occasions when this is publicly acknowledged. Nicky's dad, Mike, represents his family today. But in, in the special gesture that he made in giving his daughter away, he symbolises his own personal love for his beloved daughter. So mindful of these things, I now ask you, Mike, do you give Nikki to John with your love and with your blessing? Okay. Oh. Many millions of words have been written down through the centuries to describe what love is. Some are very profound, some are humorous, and some of elegant poetic beauty but none have summed it up more than this passage written almost 2,000 years ago. And whether you have a faith or none at all, its simple clarity cannot be argued with. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. John and Nikki have already spent many years together after first meeting at work and knowing almost straight away they were meant to be together. Sharing the same caring outlook which is reflected in their career paths, they have a strong sense of wanting the very best for each other. Today is the culmination of all that has happened to them over the years. The joys and the sorrows that they have shared have made them the people who sit before you now. Today is just the best of the many happy moments that they have made together and its memory will surely sustain them in the future. So, Nikki, uh, you, oh, you put your boat in there, that's fine. So now we're going to uh, make your declarations. Marriage is a voluntary and full commitment to two people to each other. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered into with the desire the hope and the firm intent that it will last forever. 
John and Nikki, you have come here to declare today to declare your commitment and love for one another and to seek mutual support and strength for all that lies ahead. As you sit there before all those who care for you and whom you love, claim their strength and love and drawing on the trust that you place in me today, I now ask you to speak in truth from your hearts your solemn commitments to your marriage and to each other. So after I've spoken, if you just repeat, I do. John, you have pledged your commitment to take Nikki as your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect her, to be honest with her, and to stand by her through whatever may come, so that you genuinely share your life together. Do you confirm that promise to Nikki? I do. Nikki, you have pledged your commitment to take John as your lawful wedded husband, to love and respect him, to be honest with him, and to stand by him through whatever may come, so that you genuinely share your life with him. Do you confirm that promise to John? I do. John and Nikki will now exchange the vows and promises they have chosen to share. So as you hold hands now to exchange your vows, feel the strength that comes from that unity. It is this strength that will help you cope with life's storms and its disappointments. This unity will make sharing every happy moment sweeter and more intimate. This is a bond which simply is unbreakable. So now as you declare your love for each other, all of us wish you a love that makes you both better people. A love that gives you joy and enriches every moment and spills over to light the lives of all that you meet. So do you, John Edward Peters, take Nicole Marie Riley to be your best friend and partner? Do you promise to encourage, support and love her through good times and bad? I do. Will you be there to laugh with her and lift her up <coughs> when she is down and to love her unconditionally, sharing everything together? I do. Mm. Do you, Nicole Marie Riley, take John Edward Peters to be your best friend and partner. Do you promise to encourage and inspire him and to love him through good times and bad? Will you be there to laugh with him and lift him up when he is down and to love him unconditionally, sharing everything together? Now is the time that our lovely couple are going to exchange their rings. So can I ask um, Sorry, Grace. Grace. Grace, would you like to come forward with the ring? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's it, brilliant, well done. Don't worry, I won't bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would you just put them on the table there? That's lovely, thank you so much. You can sit down. That's lovely. That's well done. John and Nikki will now exchange rings as an outward sign of the never-ending circle of love they have created together. A circle has no beginning and it has no end, and it symbolises the eternal commitment which is the very cornerstone of a marriage. Do you, John, give Nikki this ring as a symbol of your commitment to love, honour and respect her and an affirmation of the vows you have just spoken? I do. Do you choose Nikki above all others to be your wife and offer this ring as a token of your love for her and with it do you join your life to hers? I do. 
As this ring has no end, neither shall your love for her. Now, Nikki. You, Nikki, give John this ring as a symbol of your commitment to love, honour and respect him and an affirmation of the vows you have just spoken. I do. Do you choose John above all others to be your husband and offer this ring as a token of your love for him and with it do you join your life to his? I do. As this ring has no end, neither shall your love for him. So John and Nicky have declared their love for each other and made solemn vows which they intend to keep for the rest of their lives. So it gives me great pleasure to confirm that they are husband and wife. <laughs> so um, you are all here being witnesses to this special day and everybody here will now recognize you as husband and wife and will honor you as such from this day forward may you remember this day with joy and thanksgiving and may you always be surrounded by the outpouring of love care and compassion that we can all sense in this room today. And may I offer you my personal congratulations.